hello viewers welcome back in this video we will discuss about io field in hmi in last video we have add some button and give a command by this button and run the motor and also we have dynamically change the color of this button so to add the io field we have to go to toolbox here if it is not here then click the toolbox here it will open the toolbox from this toolbox we can take the basic object and element today we will add the io field just drag and drop this io field in the hmi skin and this is our home skin so by this io field what can we do we can visualize the process value temperature value speed value or current value or we can give a set point some set point to plc so to give the set point to plc we always need two types of tag one we can use the data block tag that means local variable tag or we can use the flag memory we cannot use the input analog analog input we cannot use the analog input so we will use the data block address data block tag local tag okay we will take two io field one we will use as a input field that means we will give us some set point to plc we will write some value to plc from the hmi and we will read some value from the plc to hmi so i just copy and paste okay now to write now to write the value to plc we need a tag in the plc so i will create a tag if it is a integer tag then i will write as a integer and here integer okay here i will write as a set point integer we can use as a integer double integer real anything so here you have to declare the data type if it is integer you have to give a integer if it is unsigned integer you have to give a unsigned integer okay from here you can see the all data type and here i will added integer here i use a added integer that means i want to use this tag as a read from the plc to hmi so here here i will okay before that i will create a hmi function called is a hmi in that hmi function i will do some mathematical operation that if it is a add function i will just drag and drop this add function in this network one and data type is integer so i will add hmi from the hmi dp i will add the set point from the hmi and add to some constant value and this is 100 and i will keep that addition result value in the add integer tag and that is in from the hmi db add integer okay so i will use this tag as a right from the hmi and use this add integer to read from the plc to 
ASMI. Okay, go to ASMI skin. So I here I will give a name that SP and copy just add it. Okay. okay now i go to properties just select and click the right button it will open this dialog now select the properties from this properties select this properties from this properties you can give the process tag and that process tag is the hmi db set point integer from by this integer data will go to plc when we write the value from this hmi then data will go to plc and that data tag is integer and data type integer means the value can be negative to positive 3 to 7 6 8 to 3 to 7 6 7 so it is a sign integer and its mark as a yes okay i will just use as a positive i will use positive values so yes i deleted the yes so here from type we can use this io field this io field as a input or output we have to select from here if we select this IO field as a input output, we can give a value set point value from this IO field. Also, we can see the set point value. So you can keep it as it is, or you can just select the input. Okay. And now in added IO field, I will select the tag that smi add integer now i will select this i field as a output and i also want to see this value as a positive we can use here that appearance this io field background is now white if we select the background from here as a green then it will green so for set point i will keep it as a white and here in text text color is now gray mark i will make it as a black and you can give a by e space you can give a unit if you write anything it will be like this so if you use it as a integer or if it is a percentage set point you can make it as a percentage so it is a percentage now i will keep it empty because it is not a, uh, any unit it's just a random number so i will make it as a empty okay and in output io field i will change the background color as a green also you can make the background as a transparent from if you select this transparent your background color will be transparent so i will may give the background color as a green so keep this also here you can see that back border is very large you can make the width less from here okay now it is smaller thickness okay now go to simulation button see here 
value is hash hash mark and it is zero and we cannot set this value from here but when i click here it give a input some value we can give it here so why it is hash mark because we didn't download the program that's uh, it is not find any tag from plc it is connected to plc but it is not it is not uh, found so i will download i will download oh, so i will start simulation of the plc let's download when you think that uh, your hash mark input field is hash mark that means it is not connected to your plc or it um, the tag is not um, assigned in plc so download now make the plc module run now see the IO field is now zero. Now, if we give the set point, it is still zero. It will still zero. Why? Because I still not call this ACMI function in the main OB function. It is not executing. That tag is that tag is now found in the plc but that tag value is zero if you go to acmi db and go online see that tag value is now zero and sp set point is 22 that's why here is 22 and here is zero if i if i call this function in the main ob and download then added value will show in the output field so see it is now 122 why it is 122 because if we go online we have set the sp integer below 22 and we added with the 100 so it is 122 so it is 122 if it is 100 then it is 200 it it is added with 100 so it is 200 so we can this uh, input uh, output field is now green but if we set the Mm, background color as a dynamic with the limit so now we will sense the background color of this output field by the value of this output IO field so go to home skin now it is green go to animation from here appearance add the appearance animation now if the added integer value is 0 to 100 or um, 0 to 1000 then it is green if it is uh, 1001 to 2000 then field is red okay now again simulate the HMI skin still it is 200 now if it is 100 thousand see it is red because I am adding this set point with 100 so it is 100 11 uh, 1100 so the output field is red so if it is 900 
so added it will be 100 if it is 900 901 it should be red okay thank you